It is time to put a stop to the madness. And by that, I mean use the mortar we built for this guy over here to activate the traps like the one right here in order to take out that thing. And probably also complete the game because I feel like we're close. Right now, I'll check my crab pots. Ooh, a trophy. Very nice. I'll just take all these and probably pick up the trap as well because I can. This pot is still going strong because it's the cursed one. But we also don't have room for any of them. There might be a crab in here we can get. Yeah. Now we just got to reorganize somehow. There's not a lot of options to do that. Few inches later. But that should just about do it. Yes. That was like five minutes of moving stuff around. We won't talk about it. We're just going to sell all of them for a cool $103 and probably also work on our storage a little bit. To do that, we'll just manifest ourselves closer to the trader so we can just quickly get rid of all the jewels that we have. And all that together comes out to almost $1,000 in trinkets. Wowee. But then we might as well find some scrap metal here, gather as much as we can. Oh, that boat is coming here. Okay. That's, that's not a good thing. You shouldn't be able to do that. You shouldn't be able to do that. I don't want to deal with you at all. No, thanks. He, that is haunting. Go away, you. <laughs> I know you're not real. I'm not gonna bother with you. I didn't know they could drive at me like that. <laughs> oh, and there's two of them. Yikes, a mundo. Maybe I'll just dock up for the night and also plug in the scrap metal that I collected. Very nice. Now we can get that upgrade and start putting some things towards the next hull upgrade, including all this refined metal that we've been getting, some of the wood and the cloth. And that is a decent start, I'd say. So I might as well get the stuff for that last hull upgrade because it should be pretty easy. I just need three pieces of wood, two or three pieces of metal, but ooh, research parts. And another research part. I've never gotten so many from one spot. And did I get the bits that were here? I don't remember. Oh, I left a piece of wood here. <laughs> Why did I do that for? Might as well get an aberration on the way. Right. Ooh, a voltaic grouper. That's kind of cool looking, honestly. Oh gosh. Why is there another one of those? Really? Okay. Maybe he sees my light. Let me turn that off and then just uh, keep sailing away and away. Oh, oh, it turned around. Oh gosh. Anyways, I'm gonna turn my light on again because I can outpace those no problem. Why do I feel like the creepy things are becoming more active than usual? But we can start to plug these in and we're almost done with the hull upgrade already. Might as well research more of these jet drive engines. And now we just need two bolts of cloth and I totally forgot to sell the fish. Whoops. Let's just get what we can from the stale fish. Seventy-seven. $7. It's okay. Oh, and there's another wreck right here. I didn't even see it before. What do we got? Try to get inside. Pull a bit closer, manage to clamber. Yes, there's a metal that we need. And some trinkets, some research, and a bolt of cloth. Cool. We have everything we need. So we'll just plug the rest of that in right here and then not have to worry about buying the upgrade because we got $4,000. Oh yeah, tier four hull upgrade. Now we can start putting stuff in for the rest. Oh my gosh, that's so much space. I love it. But man, the upgrades are expensive now. I'm thinking more rod spaces is the way to go now. So I'll put stuff in for that. And ooh, our boat looks different too. I like this. This really looks like a modern fishing boat now. Still keeping the classic tires strapped to the sides. Love it. And then we'll get one more aberration before the night closes in. There it is. Ooh, a tusk grouper. This thing is nastier than the voltaic one. Anyways, that's all we need. Oh, look at how much damage we can take too. I almost feel invincible. But we'll turn that in. And then now we can worry about trapping that monster. So the way that we're meant to trap the monster is we need to make bait using the fish in this area. And if there's an aberration or two, I think that's okay. Wonder what this one is. Whatever the aberration for a gar is. It's a clawfingar. Ooh, interesting. So what I'm gonna do is just pan around to each of these different areas and catch at least one of each kind of fish. Maybe two. Some of these might overlap. I honestly don't remember, but we can make our way through here and just ask the guy and maybe give him some of the fish. So hi there, about the bait. Three special baits. The bait for the first one takes, okay, it takes a gar, so I have that. Good. Hopefully he doesn't need them to be in a certain condition. And how about the second one? Okay, what is that one? I haven't caught that one before and then the last one okay the eels so it seems like the most common fish that he needs is those gray mullets 
And then whatever that other one was, this one, it's a nighttime fish. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. It's fine though, those things are based off of movement, not light. And I see you there. I know where you like to hang out. Oh, there's another aberration in that spot already. I could probably get some good money off of this area. Might as well fish up this one. And there it is, I already got it again. I guess that was the last one in the area too. I wouldn't have expected one area to have multiple aberrations. Well, we're done with Gars, so we can sell these. And there's already another aberration over here. Which one are you? Ooh, Ooh, this is the thing we need, the gray mullets, yeah. I wonder if he'd accept an aberration for bait. Might as well fish up the whole area and then, I don't know, we could try it. He probably wouldn't like it though. Oh, and I finished reading that one book. Now we have more engine speed. Excellent. And that's all the gray mullets I can get. And that should be enough for the traps. Now we just need the eels. He wanted eels and then that one night fish. So where are the eels? Also, why are there so many of them? I guess that's why there's three traps. Ooh, wind is taking me over that way. Ooh. Oh, you didn't see me move. I'm also still not seeing eels. I wonder if those are also a nighttime fish. There's another aberration mullet. I kind of want it. Well, that was fast. And that's also one of the other traps. I think I know where all of them are now. Well, if I have to catch a nighttime fish, I might as well just keep moving around. It is honestly so annoying how frequent these things are. Would you go away? I'm trying to bait you and not with myself. I can't see it, but I know for a fact another one popped up. Why are they so active now? What did I do? Ooh, here's that fish. We'll just collect you really quick. A catfish. Oh, go figure. <laughs> Pardon me wonders if the aberration of this is like an actual cat. That'd be funny. And ooh, I think that's the eel. Yes, it is. We need two of these. And there we go. We have all the bait that we need for the traps. So let's just coast on back to the airman, this fella right here, and give him the fish. Hello. Two of these here for you. That's one trap. Load this into a trap and then get well clear from it. Yeah, probably. When the trap springs, I'll fire upon the mortar. Make sure you bring back proof that the thing's dead. Okay, so this is bait number one. And then we set this in here for bait number two. And then bait number three. So I guess I really overdid it with the mullets. Oh well, there we go. All three baits. And then we put them in the traps. Do I really need to ask him where to put it? I know where to put it. Marked on the map. Okay, cool. Quickly sell all the extra fish that we have. Not caring for any monsters that might show up. And none of them did. Huh. Sell all of them. And now we can put the bait in the traps now. And then get very far away from them as the guy instructed. Oh, and this thing has a lot more crabs in it. Cool. Might as well stop here for a little bit. There and also probably pick up the cage. There's only an hour left. And oh no, I don't have enough room for it. Well, not the way these are organized. I think it takes up like a four by four space. There we go. Make a lot of money off of the crabs. And might as well repair you. $50 repair, wow. All right, but then we just bait this one. Ooh. Oh, he's already looking for it. Load the trap with bait. Should probably move away. Yeah. Oh, oh gosh, it's right there. Uh, move away. Okay, it's gonna do it. It's gonna go in. And, oh, oh, there a trap goes. Oh, it caught it. Oh, yes. Blast it. Blast it. Yes. That was awesome. That worked so good. Inside the obliterated corpse of a mind sucker, the airman will be expecting proof. Ugh. Yeah, this thing is definitely nasty, but we did it. The rest of the carcass sinks out of sight. I'm sure it does, but now we just gotta do that two more times. I hope this means that they don't like change their tactics, but I guess we'll find out when we load this one. Load the trap and move away. Yep, 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 yep. And ooh, don't move. Uh, maybe move away. Oh, <laughs> he nodded, he likes this. He's like, oh yeah. And yep, eat it, eat it, and blamo. Can I even see a mortar come out of this guy? Ooh, I heard it. I hear it launch. And blamo! Very good. Collect you. And just one more. I think the trap was on the other side of the swamp. I don't really feel the need to check the map. Just gonna maneuver through here. Oh, that guy's there. Hi, how are you? Hi there. You don't see me, but I just nuked your buddies with a mortar. How do you feel? I wonder if they're all indeed like separate things or if they're part of like a hive mind of sorts. And I definitely went the wrong way for the traps. Maybe I should look at the map after all. Okay, maybe I do need to look at the map. Uh, oh, I was just a little bit off. Oh, pause. It's so weird being this close to the thing and it still doesn't see me. How's my guy not going crazy just by being in sheer proximity of it? Anyways, back to what we were doing, which is bait this. Uh, ooh, there's another one already. I think I'll wait for that one to go away before baiting this one. There we go. And then load the trap. And get away, get away, get away, get away. Maybe a little more away. Ooh, He's like, uh-huh. And 
And you all know how this goes. Trap it. Yep. And bam. That makes three for three. Though why do I feel like there was a lot more than three? Anyways, let's go back to the airmen. Don't really need to worry about anything anymore. Though that doesn't feel entirely true. Hey there, I bombed the beasties. Well, I guess you did, but hey, take him. It's almost unrecognizable, but you both know it couldn't have belonged to anything else. He pokes out with the knife, testing the meat. Seems satisfied? Yes, this is one of them. And I have much more. It wobbles a little. One remains by my count. Yep, and there it is. His eyes fill with sadistic delight. Plunges his knife into the soft flesh. It falls away, revealing a glint of metal. Hello. Sickening tear rested from where it was embedded. Is a necklace. Well, fisherman some fortune at least and he's given it to me yes shimmery necklace large and ornate ivory teardrops flank the central setting in emerald trapped by crusting waves very cool thank you melancholic look comes over his face and now well that's that what now I can't say for sure. Thought I'd be asking you for an escort away from this place, but it's become a home. Doesn't feel right to leave the bears. I think I'll stay a bit longer. Okay, I can make up some bait for you. Ooh, can help with the fishing. Leftover from the other bait we made. Oh, cool. I really don't know what I could do with this. Can be used to attract all manner of nearby species. Interesting. Ability unlocked bait. Oh, nice. Now I can make some fresh stuff. Okay, so I give him fish and then he gives me bait. Very cool. Didn't give me enough fish. Yeah, well, whatever. I don't need bait to fish. I swear, if I go through here and there's another one of those things, I'm gonna be upset. And I honestly thought this was one, but it, nope, it's just the mangled body. The trap itself was reusable, but not after being hit by a mortar. Yeah, I can't imagine so. So now we can go back to the cultist guy, watch the angler boat sail away from us because we're in the shallow now and now we should be able to give him the necklace and I Pretty sure that's the last relic that he was looking for. Oh, we could conceal it? What would that do? I mean, for sure wouldn't give it to him, but why? Oh, this is like the ending, isn't it? Pause before crossing the threshold. Well, I've already given him everything else. Might as well see what this one does. Deliver the relic. Carrying the ornate necklace, collector recognizes it almost immediately. Very nice. Sweeps it aside from scraps, candle, wax, pooling in its corners. Places the necklace carefully. With that, our collection is complete. I do not think you had the determination for such a job. Well, I'm kind of stubborn like that. Now now with these five relics, only one thing remains. I suspect you know by now. Uh, I'm guessing some sort of ritual? No, what? It will become apparent soon enough, okay? One final voyage. This time I'll be with you. Oh, I'm taking him somewhere? Okay then. Ready. Entering the final phase of the game. Progress will not be safe from this point onwards. Uh, yes, I wish to continue. One more time. Yes. Thank you. I get it. I'm done here. Relics are coming with us. We should wait for the fog to thicken. With luck, the seas will remain unaware of our tensions. Okay. Waiting for the right time? I'm guessing that just... Oh, it's not nighttime. It's... It's midnight, sort of. One in the morning. Wow, that is thick fog indeed. Our destination is the open expanse to the west of Greater Marrow, marked on the map. Must not tarry on the open waters. Make haste. Okay, collector is on board. Can I see him? <laughs> Where'd you go? So we just need to go right over here? Okay then. I hope nothing happens to our dog Blitz. Even though his namesake is questionable. Oh, it's right there. Time to go. Make haste, the man said. So just gonna sail on straight away. I am really nervous about what's gonna show up. This seems like a bad idea, but I am committed now. Do ba do ba do 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 do. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there, we're here. Hello? This is the place. This is where she was taken from us and where we can at last bring her back. Only here and only because of what we've achieved. Opens a book, begins to read. Oh, what sort of thing is this? To release the lost one frozen in time, throws a pocket watch overboard and tethered by chains, he throws a necklace overboard. Bind them to this world, he throws the ring overboard. The starry heaven slots the key into the lock of the music box and lay the weary world to rest. What? Throws it overboard, his key left unturned. Okay, uh, oh, what's happening here? He threw the book overboard too. No, that's a music box. Uh, oh, oh, uh, what is this? There goes my light. Um, wh oh, dude, dude, what? That's a person. Uh, hi, you look great. Please don't hurt me. What? <laughs> okay, you look great as well. I think that's Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well that's uh that's that I guess. Oh no, it did destroy the world. Well, 
Um, you know, I'm pretty sure there's other endings to the game. So if you want me to check those out, I guess they'll have to happen in a different video. But honestly, though, this is a really cool game. You guys should check it out on Steam if you haven't already. And the only thing I can hope for is that nothing bad happened to the dog. So thank you guys very much for watching this series of Dredge. Do let me know if you want to see any more of the things. And as always, sub to intern. And I'd like to thank the channel members, including Bread, Mr. Cripple One, Ancient Elixir One, Corby Farm, Bladed Archer, Donamoto, Devion X, Muffin Suffer, Lucas S, Ali B, Splatter Sacks, Real Nickname, Edward, Eyeballus, and Hateful Herald.